Eliza Fletcher, a teacher, wife, and mother from Memphis, Tennessee, who was a billionaire heiress to the Orgill fortune, went out for her usual early morning run. But when she didn't return home, her husband grew concerned and called the police. But Eliza was nowhere to be found. A few days later, her lifeless body was discovered. But what happened to her? Was this a spontaneous act of violence or a premeditated murder? Let's unpack this devastating case. Eliza Welford Fletcher was born on November 9, 1987 in Memphis, Tennessee, to parents Adele Orgel Welford and James Beasley Welford. After graduating from the Hutchison School in 2006, she later completed her undergraduate education at Baylor University and then received a master's degree in teaching from Belmont University. She devoted her work and energy to her students at Promise Academy and later her junior kindergarten students at St. Mary's Episcopal School. As with everything Liza took on, she nurtured and cared for her students with her whole heart. A strong believer in the importance of personal growth, she was not afraid to be vulnerable and even embraced it. Liza, a natural-born athlete, carried her love for sports with her throughout her life. From her early days on childhood sports teams to playing soccer for the University of Memphis and her remarkable achievements in marathons as an adult. Her mornings were filled with exhilarating runs alongside friends, and she poured her competitive spirit into wholehearted engagement in every challenge she embraced. She was a Christian who walked and modeled the Christian life and never wavered in her faith. She met her adored husband, Richard James Fletcher III, at Second Presbyterian Church, and on March 8, 2014, they joined their lives in marriage. Together, they embraced the joys and challenges of parenthood, welcoming two spirited and delightful boys, Richard James Fletcher IV and Harry Welford Fletcher. Liza held her most treasured role as that of a wife and mother. She loved her family fiercely and unconditionally. Her unwavering commitment to motherhood earned her profound admiration from her family and friends alike. Liza was a prominent figure in the local community, recognized both as a highly regarded teacher and as the heiress to a substantial local business fortune. She's the granddaughter of the late local businessman and philanthropist Joseph Orgill III, who founded the Memphis hardware supply company Orgill, a company that's now worth $3.2 billion and employs 5,500 people. Despite the opportunity to work within the family's lucrative business empire, Liza chose a different path and pursued a career as a local kindergarten teacher. This decision demonstrated her commitment to education and her desire to make a positive impact in her community, rather than simply relying on her family's business legacy. At 4.20 a.m. on the morning of September 2, 2022, Eliza decided to go for a run near the University of Memphis campus. While she was running, a black 2013 GMC Terrain SUV approached her and eventually came to a halt nearby. A man hastily exited the vehicle, ran aggressively toward her, and forcefully grabbed her, who then forced her into the passenger side of the SUV. The SUV remained motionless for approximately four minutes before abruptly driving away. Liza's family grew concerned when she didn't return home from her run prompting her husband to report her as missing. Her cell phone and water bottle were discovered at the location of her abduction. Additionally, investigators came across a pair of champion slide sandals, believed to belong to the assailant, which were left behind amidst the struggle. In an effort to locate Liza, law enforcement authorities released photographs of the suspect's vehicle to the public, seeking assistance from anyone who might have information. Just hours after Liza's abduction, her family held a press conference earnestly appealing to the public for assistance in locating her. In a heartfelt plea, they offered a reward of $50,000 to anyone who could provide information leading to Liza's safe return. Liza's uncle, Mike Keeney, took the lead during the press conference. More than anything, we want to see Liza returned home safely. The family has offered a reward for any information that leads to her safe return. We believe someone knows what happened and can help. If you have any information on this crime or Liza's location, 
called the police at 901. Standing beside him, Liza's husband struggled to contain his tears throughout the entire ordeal, his anguish and desperation palpable to all in attendance. On that same day of September 2nd, DNA testing was conducted on the Champion Slide sandals. The DNA found on the sandals matched DNA in the CODIS database for a man named Cleotha Abston Henderson. As a result, investigators initiated efforts to confirm Henderson's whereabouts before, during, and after the abduction. One day later, on September 3rd, police made a crucial breakthrough in the case when they spotted a vehicle in a parking lot matching the description of the SUV that was used to abduct Liza. The SUV had the same damaged taillight and partial license plate identification seen in the surveillance footage of the abduction, according to an affidavit. When police officers approached the suspect in the SUV, he tried to flee the scene, but he was captured, arrested, and taken in for questioning. The person in the SUV was Cleotha Abston Henderson. When pressed about Liza's whereabouts, Henderson refused to provide any information. On September 4, 2022, the Memphis Police Department officially announced that Cleotha Henderson had been charged with aggravated kidnapping and tampering with evidence. The following day, on the afternoon of September 5th, Henderson faced three additional charges, including theft of property under $1,000, identity theft, and fraudulent use of a credit card. According to an affidavit, there were significant suspicions surrounding Henderson's actions following the abduction. On September 2, 2022, he had been observed cleaning the interior of his car with floor cleaner and washing his clothes in a sink in the aftermath of the incident. Witnesses, including the suspect's own brother, reported that Henderson was acting very strangely while he was cleaning his clothes in the sink. Despite Henderson's desperate efforts to conceal evidence, Authorities stated that they had recovered blood and other critical pieces of evidence inside Henderson's vehicle. Furthermore, cell phone location data placed Henderson at the scene of the abduction, and the champion slides found at the scene were linked to him through both DNA evidence and surveillance footage. Dedicated law enforcement officers continued their exhaustive search of the vicinity where Liza vanished. Their efforts included thorough examinations of dumpsters, ponds, and parks in the area as they tirelessly worked to uncover any clues or evidence that might shed light on her disappearance. Then on September 5, 2022, investigators from the Memphis Police Department, along with federal and state partners, made a significant discovery. They noticed vehicle tracks in tall grass leading to a vacant apartment situated near an abandoned elementary school in South Memphis. A search and rescue officer detected an unsettling odor of decay and spotted a set of footprints in the back driveway of the premises. He then saw an unresponsive female lying on the ground, and she was pronounced dead at the scene. The following morning, on September 6, 2022, the police officially confirmed the identity of the deceased woman, and tragically, it was Liza Fletcher. The premises where Liza's body was found is situated just half a mile away from Henderson's brother's apartment, which is where Henderson was seen on surveillance footage cleaning the interior of his car following Liza's abduction. During their investigation, they also found Liza's purple running shorts discarded in a nearby trash bag. Additionally, a shell casing was recovered from the area. Surveillance footage once again played a pivotal role in the investigation indicating that Henderson's black SUV was located in close proximity to the scene between 5.48 a.m. and 5.52 a.m., as detailed in the affidavit. The autopsy conducted later revealed that Liza had endured blunt force trauma to her right leg and had also been shot in the back of her head, shedding light on the extent of the harm she had suffered during the horrifying ordeal. Following the discovery of Liza's body, Henderson faced additional and more severe charges, including first-degree murder and especially aggravated kidnapping. Initially, he was held on a bond set at $500,000 and made his first court appearance on September 6, 2022. The following morning on September 7, Henderson made a second appearance in the Shelby County Circuit Court where a judge revoked his bond, reflecting the increased severity of the charges and the gravity of the case. Shelby County District Attorney Steve Mulroy, who had previously been critical of capital punishment, made a significant announcement. 
he declared his intention to pursue the death penalty in the event that 39-year-old Henderson is convicted of first-degree murder. When there are sufficient number of aggravating factors and when the, the case seems sufficiently clear, then I, I will follow the law and seek the death penalty. My stance on the death penalty is the same as it was uh, a year ago. I believe it's a policy matter. Um, it's not a good idea. If I were a legislator, I would vote to abolish it. Uh, as, like I said before, as DA, I have to follow the law. Henderson had a troubling history of criminal activities long before the tragic abduction and murder of Liza Fletcher. His involvement with the juvenile justice system began at a very young age, starting from when he was just 11 years old, and he was known to be associated with the Lemoyne Gardens Gangsters, or the LMG Gang for short. Between the years 1995 and May 2000, he amassed a staggering 16 arrests, including charges related to alleged sexual assault at the age of 14, theft, aggravated assault, and unlawful possession of a weapon. At the age of 16, Henderson kidnapped a man at gunpoint. After being convicted, he was released from prison less than two years prior to the murder of Liza Fletcher. One year after Henderson's release from prison and one year prior to the tragic abduction and murder of Liza Fletcher, he allegedly sexually assaulted a woman he met on a dating app in September 2021. Alicia Franklin came forward with allegations that after meeting Henderson on a dating app, she had agreed to meet him at the lakes at Ridgeway Apartment Homes, where he claimed to work as a maintenance man. Then they were supposed to go out to dinner. However, the encounter took a horrifying turn. I was trying to get out of the rain. So he was trying to hug me, and I'm like, we don't want to hug right now in the rain. We can hug in the house. But once I got in that apartment, it was a whole other different story. Once we got inside that apartment unit, and he put that gun to my neck, he took everything from me. He took my phone, he took my purse, and he took my car keys. She then said Henderson put a t-shirt over her face, forced her into his car, and sexually assaulted her. Miss Franklin reported that, despite the police presenting her with a photo lineup, she was unable to identify her alleged attacker from the photographs provided. Notably, she stated that a sexual assault kit was used to collect DNA evidence from her attacker, but due to various delays, it was not processed until a year later, on August 29, 2022, and then it was only entered into the national database a week later on September 5th, which is three days after Liza was abducted. Ms. Franklin claims that her case was not treated with the urgency it deserved. She argued that if her sexual assault kit had been processed promptly, Henderson's DNA might have been discovered sooner, potentially leading to his arrest. Given that Henderson's DNA was already on record due to prior convictions, an earlier arrest could have prevented him from having the opportunity to murder Liza. Ms. Franklin contends that Liza's tragic death might have been avoidable if her case had been prioritized and her sexual assault kit processed in a timelier manner. The trial for the sexual assault of Alicia Franklin is scheduled to start during the second week of April 2024, with Henderson having pled not guilty. Likewise, he has entered a not guilty plea for the charges related to the kidnapping and murder of Eliza Fletcher, with the trial for that case expected to begin after the sexual assault trial. On September 9, 2022, a week after the tragic abduction and killing of Liza Fletcher, who was out for a run near the University of Memphis, hundreds of women in Memphis gathered to complete the run that Liza had started, turning the event into a powerful symbol of unity and resilience. Throughout the 8.2-mile course, spectators lined the streets, holding signs and candles, creating a moving display of support. Memphis police blocked traffic for the duration of the run. The motto, running for those who can't, echoed throughout the morning, reflecting the determination of the participants to honor Liza's memory and raise awareness about the importance of safety while pursuing their passion for running. Liza was a remarkable soul who deeply impacted the lives of everyone she met. Her unwavering faith and commitment to modeling the Christian way of life were not just principles she upheld, but they were the guiding lights that illuminated her path. She possessed a heart so pure and innocent so profound that she could effortlessly see the value and inherent goodness in every person she encountered. She was not only a great wife to her husband, but also a loving and devoted mother to her two cherished children. Her love for them was boundless and unwavering. 
Liza's nurturing spirit extended to her students, fostering an environment of love and learning. She had a deep affection for her students, and her impact on their lives will likely reach far beyond the classroom. To Liza's family and friends, we send our deepest condolences to you during this difficult time. Our thoughts and prayers go out to all of you as you navigate the pain of this profound loss. May God comfort and strengthen you all, and may Liza rest in eternal peace.